I'm just a red nigger who loves the sea. I had a sound colonial education. I have Dutch nigger and English in me, and either I'm nobody or I'm a nation. But Maria Concepcion was all my thought, watching the sea heaving up and down as the port side of dories, schooners, and yachts was painted afresh by the strokes of the sun, signing her name with every reflection. I knew when dark-haired evening put on her bright silk at sunset, unfolding the sea, sidled under the sheet with her starry laugh, that there'd be no rest, there'd be no forgetting. It's like telling mourners around the graveside about resurrection. They want the dead back. So I smiled to myself as the bow rope untied and the flight swing seaward. It's no use repeating that the sea have more fish. I ain't want her dressed in this vexless, sexless light of a seraph. I want these round brown eyes like a marmoset until the day when I can lean back and laugh those claws that tickled my back on sweating Sunday afternoons like a crab on wet sand. As I worked watching the rotting waves come past the bow that scissored the sea like silk, I swear to all you, by my mother's milk, by the stars that shall fly from tonight's furnace, that I love them, my children, my wife, my home. I love them as poets love the poetry that kills them, as drowned sailors the sea. You ever look up from some lonely beach and see a fast schooner? Well, when I write this poem, each phrase go be soaked in salt. I go draw and knot every line as tight as ropes in this rigging. In simple speech, my common language go be the wind, my pages, the sails of the schooner flight. But let me tell you how this business begin. Shabin, the flight, Passing, Blanche says, Dusk, the flight passing, Blanche says, Girls wheel like from a gun again, And foam gone amber that was white, Lighthouse and star start making friends, Down every beach the long day ends, And there, on that last stretch of sand, On a beach bare of all but light, Dark hands start pulling up the seine of the dark sea, deep, deep inland. Flight, fight with the crew. He's now traveling on the schooner up the Caribbean. It had one bitch on board like he had me mark. That was the cook. Some Vincentian ass with a skin like a gourmet tree, red peeling bark and watch out blue eyes. He wouldn't give me a ease like he feel he was white. Had an exercise book, this same one here, that I was using to write my poetry. So one day, this man snatched it <coughs> from my hand and start throwing it left and right to the rest of the crew, bowling out, catch it. And start mincing me like I was some hen because of the poems. Some cases for fist, some cases for tool and pin, some is for knife. This one was for knife. Well, I beg him first, but he kept reading, oh, my children, my wife, and playing he crying to make the crew laugh. It moved like a flying fish, the silver knife that catch him right in the plump of his calf, and he faints so slowly, and he turned more white than he thought he was. I suppose among men you need that sort of thing. It ain't right, but that's how it is. There wasn't much pain, just plenty blood, and Vinci and me, best friend, but none of them go fuck with my poetry again. <laughs> I'm sorry he talks that way. <laughs> the last section, he goes through a storm. <clears throat> And the storm is the purgation from the love that he has. After the storm, there's a fresh light that follows a storm while the whole sea still havoc. In its bright wake, I saw the veiled face of Maria Concepcion marrying the ocean. Then.